Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for January, Monday, January 25th, 2021. So if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to this full uh, technical analysis with all the commodities and precious metals that are available on Ether. Ether, sorry. And uh, yes, let's get to it. Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 25th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full technical analysis with all the, of the commodities and precious metals that are available on Etero. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So the US dollar index made um, a move to the upside earlier in the session and then gave some of those gains back. Well, the 20 exponential uh, worked as a major resistant and that is, uh, uh, well, we're very very shine to be very honest. So if it's um, resistant, that basically means that we are basically going back down towards these lows. Technical indicators are also fairly all over the place. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is uh, flat, and the RSI is flat. But because the uh, 20 exponential worked as a resistant, I don't have um, very high hopes that we are going to rally above the 50 moving average or even rally above the 20 exponential moving average. And that means that we are going to go uh, significantly lower here, and that will be very bullish for all the other markets. So let's look at oil. So oil fell down to uh, support here at uh, at the 20 exponential moving average. As I said yesterday, I was expecting this move to the downside, and this is basically what we got. So we're trading at uh, 52.04, and the 20 exponential has proven to be significant um, support at this point. 20 technical indicators are turning around. So the main reason why I did not enter this is because I think that we're going to have another run at the 20 exponential. If we get a green candlestick showing signs of life, then yes, that is a possible buy into. Otherwise, you could um, could put a stop loss on the right underneath and target 55. That is a possibility. But these technical indicators are looking dreadful. So I um, I would be careful with this market at this current stage. So natural gas. So we continue this uh, downfall as uh, as very expected. And this was just a false breakout, just a move uh, very similar to these rallies to the upside. We have broken down since 3.39, down, up, down, up, down, up. And so we continue. If 200 moving average breaks, then we are going to drop all the way down to $2. Uh, so if we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that there are uh, the reason why we found support here today is because of the 50 Fibonacci retracement. That is right here at 2.44. We pierced it, rally above it. And if that breaks, then we're heading down to the 200. If the 200 breaks, then we're heading down to the 61.8 at 2222, many twos. And if that breaks, we are heading all the way down to the very bottom. Of course, we'll have pullbacks on the way but they're just going to be continuation of these pullbacks so all pullbacks towards the 20 exponential or the 50 are to basically be sold into at this point if the 200 moving average basically breaks and it looks very likely that both of these moving averages are going to cross the 200 and we are going to see this market go significantly lower so let's look at copper so copper broke down today quite substantially and then rally above the 20 exponential moving average. So this is a very bullish shine. Uh, it was actually really good for copper because it was on the high end here on the RSI. Now we are at 54. There is a lot of room to the upside in this market and we are most likely going to go higher if the US dollar starts appreciating again, uh, again um, and uh, the world economy starts basically uh, producing as much as it used to. So target here in the medium run is probably 3.75. That is where we are going to find 
uh, where we are going to target. So technical indicators are still very bearish. They basically need to turn around. We are most likely going to see rallies next week. Most commodities, precious metals fell today. And uh, that basically gives opportunity in order to buy them cheap. So let's look at uh, gold. So gold had a horrible day today. We fell all the way down below the 200 moving average. And uh, yes, it is uh, it's uh, working out pretty nicely in this uh, analysis here. Yeah, we have this uh, uh, resistance line and we have this support line and we got almost near to the support line. So we're getting really close to this corner. This is going to be where it uh, where it's going to break either to the upside or the downside. I do favor the upside mainly due to the fact that there's going to be a lot of stimulus spending, a lot of uh, quantitative easing, and uh, that is going to just be very bullish for gold in the long run. Both gold and silver uh, will be used as uh, safe havens for for the next uh, probably two years. And that will probably take gold all the way to 2,000, 2,100, probably all the way up to 3,000 in the very long run. That's not going to something that happen, happen tomorrow, but in the long run, that could uh, most likely happen if, uh, if the supply of dollars just keeps increasing or currencies around the world, fiat currencies, just continues to increase. That will be very bullish for, for gold. So at this point, I think that we're heading back towards this top. Question is whether or not how often we'll go back and forth before we break to, your, to the downside. So target will be 1900, 1950, 2000, 2050, and then beyond that. So let's look at silver. So silver did the same thing. We found support here at the 50 moving average and then rallied an hour right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are all over the place, and uh, yes, we have um, most likely a significant uh, support line here. If we get close to that, then we will most likely rally, but the 50 is holding at this point, and um, as long as that is the case, there is no worries. We have also a significant resistant area just above here that we have to get through in order to go all the way to 30. So this is probably a good buy-in if you want to hold this for a long time. I would definitely consider putting a stop loss right underneath this uh, um, this uh, trend line here um, if it were to break down. But this area has proven to be very, very um, supportive. So that is very unlikely to happen. So let's look at Platinum. So we broke down towards the 220 exponential moving average, rallied a little bit, and now we're trading at the 10.99. So technical indicators are turning around, so it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we break towards the 50 in the coming uh, coming week. Um, they are not looking very bullish. They are very bearish at this point. So yes, uh, it is possible to enter here, but better would be to enter here, something similar to this, and target the upside target is roughly 1148 um whether or not we manage that now or later that's uh, that's going to be the question i think that we're going to drop lower in this market when you're considering how bearish these uh, indicators are becoming so let's look at pallium so as you can see nothing really happens here um i've been doing the same analysis for this uh um, it's pressure metal for a very long time now and it's, it's technically the same analysis I do every single day. We have the top here at the 2.5, the bottom here at 2.179 and we're right in the middle. And uh, we are just stuck at the 50 and the 20 exponential trading sideways and nothing's really happening. Can enter here for a short, enter here for a buy, but right now we're right in the middle. So, uh, hope you find this helpful. If you want to have full access to this video, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Otherwise, good luck and good weekend.